and tension. Anxiety. Anxiety, tension, it will be there. So who has nothing in this world? With all those qualities, who has nothing of them? Nothing? Fear, no anxiety, no distress, no fear. You must know Arjun, they are all very nearest of me. That is why. Actually, what is the point? If one heart, one mind will be next to Krishna, near to Krishna, they will never be attached to this material world. Although they will be here, but their heart and mind will be free from this all anxiety. Their heart and mind will be free from all fear. Their mind and heart will be free from all anger. Or anger. So, when one will get that qualities, when one will get that qualities, so she will be nearest to, he will get the place next to Krishna. So Krishna just described some special qualities. She will describe more qualities. Anapiksha, Suchir, Daksha. But not now. Tomorrow evening. And the last evening maybe tomorrow is not? No. One more. One more evening. So two more evening we have. So we'll continue. Uh, this Bhakti Yoga, two more days. So tomorrow evening we'll meet again here and we'll listen Bhakti Yoga Tata. It's very tough to attain the qualities of devotees. Stop this. Stop the, the phone. Stop the video. Very good. You just come back. Anuman, you come back. Yeah. We just finished the lecture and came back. Especially for No, you can. Sorry, Baba. Gurave Gaura Chandraya Radhikao Istatale Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Stad Bhaktaya Namo Nama Badhe Vitanute Bhaktin Murkama Avartaya Sruting Yat Kripatva Maham Bandi Sri Madana Gopala Kumprabhu. Jaini Thai. Jai Gaur! Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Bhakti Yoga. Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Chanashkis Bhakti Yoga. Which connect us with Bhakti. Chanashkis Bhakti Yoga is Bhakti. If we'll follow the words, the advice. Srimad Bhakti Yoga. What Krishna said to Arjuna. So it will connect our heart with Bhakti. So that's why it's known as Bhakti Yoga connection. Here in this chapter, Krishna wanted to show the greatness of his devotees and the way actually he was showing the path how to attain that stage as a pure bhakta as a pure devotee and which is not so easy so he wanted to show this to be a bhakta it's not so easy, actually. In one hand, it's very easy. If you go with the blessings, costless mercy of Guru and Vaishnava and devotees, and if you go to the process, 
že vstoupí do toho procesu. Then it will take life after lifetime. To může trvat jako život za životem. If so, we go without blessing. Yes. If we are going with the process, just process. No need any blessings. I will not go to anyone. So no need any mercy, any blessings. So I can do this by myself. And I start to practice in that way, the process. So what is the process? Krishna showing this whole process. How to be a pure devotee. And he is advising Arjuna, Arjuna, do that, do that, do that. He said, before she will start to advise Arjuna, she already said that it's very difficult to attain me in other part. For them it's very difficult. But what he is saying, actually, is it easy? Settle your mind on me. Leave all the external activities. Just fix your heart and mind next to me and stay near to me. Is it easy? Because we are in Kali, Kali Yuga. Everyone here in this Kali Yuga, we are searching for benefits, profit. Without any profit, without any benefits, we cannot. Step one. Always we are searching some benefits. So, Krishna is saying here, In Srimad Bhagavat, at the beginning, the Rishis, the Sagas, 60,000 Sagas of Naimi Sharana, headed by, headed by Maharshi Saunak, they ask about this, how one can attain Sri Krishna in their life. So then, something like this, he said to them, something like this, he said, you have to offer unconditional bhakti and uninterrupted practice. Then you can attain Sri Krishna Bhakti, then you can attain Krishna. Then Saunak said, oh, it's difficult. It's very difficult. It's quite impossible. And we are here in Kali Yuga. And for that, it's not only quite impossible, it's impossible. How one can offer unconditional bhakti to Krishna? Ahituki bhakti. How one can offer to Krishna? Because everyone they are searching some benefits, some profit. How they will offer uninterrupted practice? Because they are in Kali Yuga. Whenever they will get some problem, they will stop their practice. They will not go. They will not continue this. They will try to find the easiest way, most easiest way. So that is why nowadays you can see so many Bhagavan. <laughs> they are in <laughs> India. And they say that you have not to do anything. Just invest some money and they said it's something every day you have to keep some money for me so I do everything for you some says you have not to do anything just join my organization and do work for my organization spread it you'll get your commission from there 
So all the Bhagavan, because of our that laziness, all that Bhagavan created, you know, because we are so foolish, we know everything. But then also, we are searching the easiest way. So, if we are searching that easiest way, so that Bhagavan is there. All those Bhagavan are waiting for you. Yeah, every street corner in India. Every street corner you will find one different Bhagavan. <laughs> Very powerful soil of India. The soil of India is not growing only the rice and corns. Also they are growing Bhagavan. <laughs> So, <laughs> very funny. Even Nityananda Bhagavan is now. <laughs> yes, also. Don't say any name. Yes, Please. Yeah. We are not here, not here to criticize anyone. Okay. We are criticizing the theme. The, the system, the misconception, the misconception, the system, the soil, the soil. So now we'll continue. Atoito da pio shakto shi kottung mat yoga masrita sharva karma falotyagam tato kurjata atma ban. If you are not able to do this. What yesterday Krishna said, he's making easy everything. First he said, settle your mind on me and so. Then he said, okay, I have not to do anything. Just only focus your mind to me and offer all your activities to me. And then he make it more easy. He said, okay, if you are not able to do this, then just do my karma. Saravanam Kirtanam like this, do my karma. Now, he's making it easy more. If you cannot, then also, if you cannot do this, because Krishna, he know how lazy we are. Uh, always we are searching for some option. The easiest way, there is easiest way, then also we are searching, is there any other option? <laughs> it's our nature. So Krishna in front of us showing so many options, you know? We have to choose one. If you cannot do this, that you cannot engage with my karmas, then just offer all my karma to me. Just offer all karma to me. And then just wait. I'll send you the result. I'll send you the fruits of all your karma. And in that way, you have to leave the desire for karma phala. For that, when we are not able to do anything, so just do your daily duty <coughs> and offer it to me. And you should not hope for your result. I'll decide this. I'll send you. We can do this also, isn't it? What? In Srimad Bhagavad also it is said. Kāyena vācā śandrīrvā buddhātmanā prakṛte śabhāvāt karoti yat yat śakalam parashmai nārāyanāyati śmarpaya. Or śmarpaya tat. Kāyena vācā on śandrīrvā. In three ways. We are active in three ways. By physically we are active. By speech we are active. 
by mind we are active. So we are doing work, all our activities depends on these three based. So in Srimad Bhagavat, it said that whatever you will do in three ways, whatever you will do, Jat Karushi Jat Asnashi in Srimad Bhagavad Gita also you will find. Jat Karushi Jat Asnashi Jat Juhoshi Dadashi Jat Jat Tapashoshi Kunti Yat Tat Kursha Madhapana. Same words. Same words in different way. So whatever you will do, just offer to me. I am not telling you some special duty. I am not advising you some very tough job. No. Whatever you will do, just offer to me. And I will send you the result. I will send you the fruits. According to your karma, I'll send you the result. So, if you can do this, that offer all your karma and just wait without any desire, then, then you will get a high stage. What? Sreyo hi gyano bhyasaj jnana dhyanam vishishyate dhyanat karma phalus tyagus tyaga chantiranantaram because, therefore, if you can do this, then what will happen? Then jnana will appear in your heart. From abhyasa, jnana will appear. And you know, jnana is greater than abhyasa yoga. There is three parts. It is said, in bhakti yoga, there is three parts. Saranatmak, that means by uh, meditating, Mananatmak, Saran and Manan, both are not the similar. Look like similar, but there is different. Mananatmak means you have to think about the sort of how to serve, how to uh, do it better. So it's Manan. And smaran, we are just meditating. When you make some schedule in your mind, so it's manan. When you are thinking some things, which is fixed, that means you are meditating about some lilas. It's dhyana. It's marana. When you are going with that lila, that means if I'll get this chance, I'll serve in that way. I'll offer this, I'll offer this. How Narthan Dashtakur said in his prayers, Kalindira Kulekli Kadambari Vana Ratana Vedira Pare Vashavadu Jan Shyama Gauri Amge Divachuva Chanda Neri Gandha Chamara Dhulava Kave Hedimukha Chanda I'll enthrone them on the bank of the river Yamuna. I'll offer the sandal paste on their body I'll give ear by the chamara. I'll offer a very nice garland of malati flowers. So, it's monan. It's not meditation. It's monan. In my mind, I'm make some schedule. I'm thinking something. So I'll do in that way. So it's monan. Manasik seva. Yes, manasik seva. It's monan. And lilas monan. That Krishna is doing this past times. Which is continuing. So, when we are thinking this, this is Maran. It's meditation. So, Smaran, Manan, and Abhyas. What is Abhyas? Abhyas, practice. Through practice, we'll enter that stage of manan. That means some knowledge has appeared there. So, yes, like external activities of External activities. <coughs> yes. External activities and by external activities, we can go inside manan. Manasikshiva. 
manasik seva, manas manas puja, and from manas puja we can enter in the stage of smaran meditation. That lila. So it's gradually it will go up. Manan, Krishna says, manan is also jnana. So when, by practice, you can get this, you can attain the stage of manan, jnana, it's greater than abhyas. Jnanat dhyanam vishishyate is doing manan. <laughs> you should not do this in Harikata. You not try it in Harikata. It's not right. He started his manan. <laughs> Sorry, but I have to say. <laughs> so, by practice, we can enter in manan. Krishna is saying, Oh, Arjuna, if you by practice you can do this, then you can attain the stage of jnana, manan. Sreyo hi jnano me bhyasat. You must know, jnana is greater than abhyasa. And this is not the highest. There is more highest. Jnanat dhyanam vishishate. When you will continue your manan, practice in jnana, so then, you can attain the stage of smarana, dhyana. You must know, dhyana is greater than manan. That means the jnana. Dhyanat karma phalastyava. If you leave all your desire, when your mind will, will be freed, from all your desire, it's more higher than smarana, dhyana. So that means it is clear, this smaran and smaran in yoga seva are not the same. Is not? Lila smaran and this smaran, which smaran Krishna says now, both are not the same. Because six Goswamis, Rupa Goswami, Shvanathan Goswami, Jiva Goswami, they said that stage is the high stage. That Lila Smaran. Lila Smaran with your Siddha Swara. That stage, when one will attain that stage, that one, one can enter in Nitya Lila by your meditation, it's the highest. It's the highest stage of sadhaka life. So, here Krishna is saying that karma phalastyaga, leaving all the desire for the result of our karma's activities, it's more higher than dhyana. So, this dhyana and smaran, lilasmaran, are not the same. So what is this Mara? Then what is this Maran? That this Maran is higher than Jnanam, Manan? <coughs> this Maran only to focus your mind on Ishta. Only to focus your mind on Ishta. There is some stage. No bhajan. Nam, Rup, Gum, Lila. Only the first part, you can do this externally and eternally. Is not? You can sing loudly and you can do it manasik. But all other parts, you have to do only by mind. Only in, inside you. When you will take center on Maha Mantra with Guru blessings, with Vaishnava Kripa, so then 
if you'll continue with your dedication, with love, so then next stage will appear. The rupa, swarupa of your ishta will appear inside of your heart. Rup. This also dhyana. When you will continue with this, when you will get attached with this swarup of your Easter, is that is that swarup some? Not like, imagination, no, not imagination. Yeah, but is that something like the the form of the deity that I'm worshiping, the actual moti? No, actually, actually, it? actually, it will start. It will start the form of our deity. Start with that. Start with that. And then, and then. Who is your Easter? That Swarup will appear inside of your heart. When you will continue with this, you can see the changes which you started. The form of your deity, form of your, in front of your, the Easter is your deity, is not? So you can imagine only, you can meditate only on the face of Him. Mm -hmm. of the deity. Mm -hmm. So it will start. Oh, then. But when? Then it will change. Mm -hmm. The face will change. Then you will Which feel, oh, it's not so hard. Mm -hmm. Because if we touch the deity, we will not feel the softer feelings, is not? But then, you will feel their life. You will feel their life. They are not only the this uh, metal or by the stones, mm. they are not Ratnamoy or Dhatumoy. So they will be live. So this form will appear. Rup, when we will continue with this, then we will feel the mercy, the qualities, how sweet he is. Then Guna will appear. Then he will start to move. He will reciprocate your love. So then you will feel, oh, he is very kind, he is very merciful. When that word will appear, so that means the Guna qualities of him appeared. And then when this stage will come, so Sri Gurudev will realize and he will show us our form. Until that time, we will see the form of our Easter and then Sri Gurudev will show us our form. This is your Siddha Swar. And then we can enter in Leela. Then Leela will appear. At the beginning, we can see, we can watch all the Leelas here. Then we'll find our Siddha Swarup there. There There's, there are so many nice stories you can see. The associates of Sri Gauranga Shunda. So many nice stories with the Swarup, they can enter in that way. Srinivas Acharya, he just absorbed in his Siddha Swarup, Manjari Swarup, and was not going out one, two, three days. One another came, maybe Ramchandra Gobiraj, I forgot. And he has course happened. Because he, three days he is in his meditation. He didn't took any things. So he entered in his Manjari mood. In Lila's world. And they meet in the Lila. And she found, not he, then she. She found there is a big problem. Srimati Radha, she lost her ankle. Bed. In the pond. 
So he was searching this. Three days he was searching. He could not find. It. Then he jumped into the pond. Then um, then he the, the other one, Ramchandra Kaviraj, yes. jumped in the pond. Yes, jumped in, in the pond and he found this. And he gave it to him. Disciple. Disciple of him. Disciple of him is his no? Yes. Because the people came and said your guru has died, no? Yes. So when Guru then they came out of then they came out from their dhyana, meditation. So in that way, you can see so many stories like this, and it's not just story, it's history. It is not only the stories, histories. So there are so many things happening. Nam, Rup, Gum, then you can enter in Lila. So all the points, Nama, when you are chanting Nama in your mind, that is also meditation. Is not? When you are thinking about Swarup, when Rupa will appear, that is also meditation. When you will feel the qualities, the Guna will appear, so that is also meditation. And the highest is Lila Smaran, when you will engage in Lila. That is the high stage. So, what Krishna is saying here about Smaran, about meditation, that is not that Lila Smaran. It's at the beginning stage. Maybe Nama Smaran or Rupa Smaran. Either Nama Smaran or Rupa Smaran. It's not so high. Otherwise, you will not say that karma phalas dhyaga is more higher than smaran, than meditation. He said, when you leave all the desire for your karma, then it is more higher than your smaran meditation. And when you can leave everything, all the desire for your karma, then you will get the ultimate peace. Dhyana Shantirananda. The ultimate peace in your heart, in your mind. You know, Arjun, everyone is searching for peace. And in, in, in Kali Yuga, there is no peace. We forgot this word, actually. And we are mixing this word. Pleasure, Ananda, and peace. They are not the same. <coughs> One is different than other. Pleasure, another thing. Ananda, bliss is another thing. <coughs> peace is another thing. So when one will go in this process, when one will attain that karma phalas jyaga stage, so then they will get this ultimate place. Adeshta Sarbo Bhutanang Maitra Kuruna Evacha Nirmamo Nirahunkaro Samadukho Shukhokkami Santushta Satatang Yogi Yatatma Dridha Nishchaya Muiyarpita Manabuddhir Yomad Bhakta Swami Priya now Krishna is glorifying his devotees. The qualities of devotees. Yes, not only the qualities. He is actually glorifying his devotees. He wanted to show, you know Arjun, my devotees, they have such kinds of qualities. Your Madhbhakta Shaw Me Priya, who has such kinds of qualities, they are my nearest one. They are my loving devotees. So, which qualities they have actually? <coughs> Adveshta. Non envy. Non envy. Who is non envy? To all the living entities. 
always he has love for everyone not only for human beings for all living entities because in front of krishna we are all equal only our shape are different inside of me there is krishna inside of one ant there is also krishna so who is devotee pure devotee in front of them everyone is equal they will be respectful and we can say in jalabharat is not he did not wanted to praise by his fate to the the step on the ants. step on the ants he did not want to step on the ants because they are also the devotees adeshta sarva bhutana maitra they are very friendly to everyone with help of me koruna eva cha they are very kind and very merciful to them निर्मो निरहंकारो समदुख सुखक्षमे दे हैव नो अफेक्शन विद दिस मैटेरियल वर्ल्ड दे हैव नो निर्मो मींस एक्चुअली इन बंगाली व्हेन वी आर सेइंग ही इज अ निर्मो सो सडनली दिस विल कम ओ इज वेरी रूड नो नॉट दैट nirmama means who has no attachment for anything in this world affection that means he cannot live without this that is attachment great attachment but they can live without anything so nirmama samodukha sukhakhame you cannot hurt them and you cannot make them dance to give some pleasure to them shama dukha sukha kame in front of them happiness and distress are equal sarga apa varga naraka shopito lartha darshina it is very nice words from shrimad bhagavata स्वर्गापर्ग नरक शोपितुल्लार्थ दर्शन उन् नो वी हैव सम इमेजिनेशन ओ इन हेवन देयर इज सो मच प्लेस सो दैट्स व्हाई एक्चुअली वी डोंट नो व्हाट इज देयर इन हेवन बट वी आर इमेजिन समथिंग ओ देयर मे बी सो मेनी थिंग्स so much pleasure are there so everyone we want to go there to heaven why we want to go i want to go heaven for what because there is so much pleasure everyone there is very beautiful you have not to wait for anything only by desire you will get everything so it's everything just imagination actually what is there we don't know is not but all of us who have some dream about heaven but for your devotee in front of them sarga pavarga naraka shopitullartha darshan not even swarga not even heaven if there is more higher place or equal place they are thinking oh swarga it's also like some place like hail because we also don't know what is in the hail we also know some description about hail but no feelings no knowledge only some description from srimad bhagavata from some other puranas that one will get this punishment if they go to the hell to this karma for this karma so everything just like imagination so in front of devotees heaven and all the equal place places like heaven they are also 
for them it's like hail why the point is there why samadukha sukakha me for them happiness and distress are equal why that why they are thinking in that way they say that yes it's true if i'm going to the hell so i know which punishment i'll get there because i know from this description i know my fault i know my karma what i have done so i know what is my punishment at there so i can prepare my heart my mind i'll get this punishment in hell but when i enter in swarga so they will say look you have this certain stage for staying here only you can stay such days such months some years so before i enter there i know when i'll be throw out from there so every day when it will pass i think oh one day i lost another day i lost so i'll never absorb in that happiness always my mind will count that i'm losing i'm losing i'm losing i'm going to the dead so in hell there is some kind of pain and in heaven another kind of pain so both are pain so in front of devotees that's why heaven heavenly pleasure and the pain of hell are the same equal they are not thinking heaven is more higher than hell because pure devotees they know actually from where they will get that ultimate place not from heaven because the target of the devotees it's not so near you know heaven is very near to us it's bhulak it's bhulak then bhulak then swalak so only we have to cross one loka then we can be there then we'll be there to swarga but the target of devotee is more higher to go near to krishna it's brindavan it's so far so they not be satisfied only by this heavenly pleasure so that's why shamaduksha sukhakhami the pleasure from this material world the distress from this material world it's not touching their heart and mind in front of them happiness and distress are same equal santushta satatam yogi yatatma drirha nischaya they are always satisfied <coughs> you can satisfy a devotee very easily <coughs> because actually they want nothing only by little service they will be satisfied they will be happy so that's why santushta satatam yogi they are always connected with me because their mind always attached to it yatatma <coughs> control sense control control smyslu all their senses are controlled by them they are not not like general one all their senses listening their desire following their desire they can do by their senses whatever they want but we cannot 
We are following our senses. Our senses are not following our mind. We are following them. By their decision, they are very fixed. We are not fixed. <coughs> we are not. We can decide to do some things. But if we will see something, another things from this material world, something pleasurable, so we will change. Or maybe tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, I'll chant tomorrow. Yes, I'll chant tomorrow. And something more interesting. So, we are not Dhrira Nishchaya, we are not really fixed by your decision. And their decision, all their decision is connected with Krishna. Connected with Krishna Karma. Something which is for Krishna. They are not fixed by the decision for themselves, for their own pleasure. No. They want to make Krishna happy. So that is why they are taking some decision and they will be fixed with that. Who offered everything to me? Mana and Buddhi. They offered their mind to me. They offered their intelligence to me. And it's impossible for us. We cannot offer our mind. We cannot offer. Always we are using our own intelligence. If I'll get some advice from your Vaishnava, so I'll start to think, yes, I'll follow his advice, but in my way. I'll follow him, but in my way. So I'll use my intelligence, how to make it easy, and in my way. But with pure devotees, they are following word by word the advices, what they will get from their Guru and Vaishnavas, pure Vaishnavas, for their Vajan. And they are always asking to Krishna, who is inside of them, so Krishna is saying, Arjuna, who has such kinds of qualities? You can see why I am partial for my devotees. Why I am always with my devotees. You can see how tough, how difficult to do this, how difficult to get such kinds of qualities. But they have. My devotees, they have such kinds of qualities. With all these qualities, they offered everything to me. Even their mind and their intelligence. They are not thinking for themselves. I am thinking for themselves. They are thinking only for me. That is why I am thinking for them. You must know who has such kinds of qualities. They are very nearest of me. I love them. Jashman no dijate loko, lokon no dijate chaya. Harsha Marsha Dhyat Vegair Mukta Jah Sha Cha Me Priya More qualities Yashmat From whom or from which? Koho ne bol Chiho
from which all the people they are not getting worry, getting tension worry, from worry. which worried, yeah. yes, worry, worry. such kinds of worry, 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 always disturbed, yes, always yeah. disturbed. So such kinds of harsha, that means blazer, blaze, udbek, tension, anger, growth, and fear, boy. Who has no of this all things? Who has no feelings for this material pleasure? Who are not tensed or it about his material aspects or material needs? Who has no fear from this material world? And who has no anger? Who can control his anger? Anger. He is very loving to me. He is very nearest to me. Are you not? Hey, are you? If you can get such qualities, you must know that you will be nearest of me. So my devotees, they have such qualities. They are not really attached with this material world. If you have some connection, if you are searching some benefits, if you are searching for some profits here in this material world, so then it will come. Then by getting some material stuff, you will feel, feel so much ananda in your heart, in your mind. You will start to dance. Oh, I got so much money. Is not? If that situation will come, you lost something, you lose something. So then you you are, you'll start to fear, scared about this. Oh, I lose, I lost this. Upset. Upset. You will upset for this. When you have great attachment with your body, always you'll be scared about that. When I will die. <laughs> when I'll die, always here in this material world, you'll get worry about your relation. But you must know. It is said also said there in Srimad Bhagavad Gita. How much new relation, how much new attachment you will get, that means you are putting some cell, some knives, special knives inside of your heart. They will not stay long. When you try to take them out, so they will destroy your heart. Because that knife is two way. You will push, they will go in and there is another way like axe. When you will try to take them out, so they will take your heart out. How many attachments you will get in this material world? <coughs> that means every new relation, every new attachment, you are putting one special knife in your heart. So, if you are connected, if you are attached with your body, if you are attached with, with this material world, so this all will be inside of you. Then anger, you will be angry. Then by fear, it will be there. Upset, worry, it will be there.